In this video we will learn how to create a cinematic 3D movie title effect in Filmora X like this. Hello video editors. My name is Sali Ali, welcome to Sali Tutorials. Titles are a feature element, they're meant to stand out. They act like a hook to draw viewers into your content, so it's important to make sure they look great. In this video I will show you tips for creating 3D title effect of cinematic movie. So apply these tips to your designs to create 3D title effect of cinematic movie that stand out, look beautiful and reflect your unique design style. Friends, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon so you can keep up with our upcoming videos. I always work hard to make a video for you, so please like the video. So let's get started. Go to Titles and click on it. From here, drag and drop the default title on the timeline. Double click on the title and edit the title. I write here cinematic. Select a bold font of your choice. Set the font size. Click the advanced button next to the OK button. Open the customize tab inside advanced edit. While keeping the text fill check on, select gradient fill inside the type box. Select white color inside the upper color box. Select the black color in the second color box. Keep the lower angle 270. Also keep the text border check below it. Keep the border color black. Set the border size to 3. OK. That's right. Get a copy of this title. Add an empty video track above. And paste the copied title into the track above. Hide the track above. Double click on the title of the track below. Delete the letter in the middle of this title and create empty spaces according to that letter. Show the track above and double click on it. Leave the middle letter in the title that we deleted in the title below it, and delete the letters around it. So you can see that we have left only the middle letter M in the title of the track above and deleted the rest of the letters. And in the title of the track below, we deleted M in the middle and instead we added space. OK. Hide the track above, and take a snapshot of the title of the track below. After taking a screenshot of the title below, show the track above, and hide the track below. Now take a snapshot of the title of the track above. Delete these two titles on the timeline. Drag and drop the snapshot from the track below into the track below. Move the playhead forward by half or a second. And split the snapshot here. And we move the other part of the snapshot to the same place by dragging and dropping it over the track, to make it easier for us. Place the playhead at the end of the first part of the snapshot and double click on the first part. Go to the animation tab and click on it. And then on customize and add a keyframe to the end of the first part of the snapshot. Put the scale 120 in that keyframe. Move the playhead to the start of the snapshot. There is also a keyframe to be added. Increase the scale in this keyframe as much as possible. I put it at 400. And keep the opacity to 0.
Double click on the snapshot above and place the playhead at the start of the snapshot. Add an empty keyframe to start. Then move the playhead 1 or 2 seconds further. There is also a keyframe to be added here. Place the scale 70 in this keyframe. OK. Now drag and drop the second screenshot that we have in our media at the beginning of the track above the timeline. Split the snapshot and drag and drop the other part of this snapshot to the same spot in the track above. Double click on the first part of this snapshot. Now we need to add keyframes in this snapshot, just like the track keyframes below. I click on the first keyframe of the track below to find out how we adjusted this keyframe scale and opacity. So you can see that we have 400 scales in this keyframe and zero opacity. So in the same way we adjust the keyframe of the track above accordingly. I keep the scale 400 here. And the opacity zero, according to the keyframe below. Move the playhead to the end of the first part. We will also add a keyframe here. We will make adjustments according to the keyframe of the track below. I click on the keyframe of the track below. Here's how we adjusted this keyframe. So now I click on the title of the track at the top, and adjust the keyframe here according to the keyframe of the bottom track. After that, now I also adjust the keyframes of the other part of it. We will also adjust the snapshot keyframes by looking at the snapshot keyframes below. Okay. Select both parts of the snapshot in the two tracks above. And move the start of this snapshot between the two keyframes of the second part of the track below. Select the snapshots of all the tracks on the timeline and move it by dragging and dropping a track, so that we have an empty video track at the bottom. Now we import some background video for this. So you can see that I imported a background video and a sound effect. I have given the link of this background video and sound effect in the description. You can download it for free from there. I drag and drop the background video to the bottom track. I split and delete the extra parts. I drag and drop the sound effects into the audio track below. After adding sound effects and background video, go to effects and click on it. Inside effects here, search Cinema 21, 9 effect. Drag and drop this effect into the track above the timeline. Split and delete the extra part of the effect. I hope you enjoyed this cinematic 3D movie title effect. If so, please like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also visit my second YouTube channel Royal Sali, there you will find great videos. See you again with a new video. Peace.